What's up everyone? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today we're going to be showing you how to find out what Roku device is worth buying. So we're going to show you how to compare them, a side-by-side -side comparison, and it's going to go over all the features of both devices. And you go through, you compare um, which features you want, which features you need, um, and which features you don't want. And it's really easy, so stick around to the end of the video, guys, and you'll be able to find out exactly what Roku is the Roku for you. Also, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, feel free to subscribe, smash that like button, and we also got some links in the description below for all types of different streaming gear, um, Roku's, Fire Sticks, Nvidia Shields, and a bunch of accessories with it too. So check that out if you're interested, and let's get right into the video. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and type in Roku device comparison. Once you do, you can see here it's got Roku.com, compare Roku streaming players. We're going to click on that and it's going to take you to this website here. Um, while we're in this website, as you can see here, they got all the different players that are available. Um, you can compare up to three different ones. So let's uh, let's pick the Express. You just click on it. You got the Express, Premiere, and let's do the Ultra. Now, once you got your three picked, or if you just want to do two, you can do two. Well, we're going to do three. Um, you can scroll down a little bit. It's got the price. Uh, you can also just buy it flat out from here. And the first section is going to be your key features. So you can always drop down these menus by clicking the arrow. And these are all the different topics that it's going to compare, right? So we got key features, specs, audio, remote, Roku OS, and Roku mobile app. So we're going to click key features. And here we go. The picture quality for the Roku Express, you got just 1080p. For the Premiere, you got 4K and 1080. And for the Ultra, you got 4K, Dolby Vision, HDR, and 1080. So obviously, the better the price, or the more the price, the better the picture quality. Then you got the most popular streaming channels. Um, some of these are dumb. They got like this one here. Obviously, it's going to have the most popular streaming channels. Then um, wireless connectivity shows you what remote you got. Um, it does. None of these have built-in speakers. One of them comes with headphones. Then you got only the Ultra comes with uh, USB local playback. Then they all got HDMI ports. Also works with Alexa and Google Assistant. They all do. Then moving on, we got our specs. You got wireless connectivity. They all got a quad-core processor. Um, only the Ultra has Bluetooth. Um, they all have 1080p. As you can see, these two got 4K. It's just a checkmark list of everything that each device has. Let's go through the audio. They're all pretty much the same, except for Ultra has Dolby Atmos. Then you got your remote, okay? Then you got your Roku OS and mobile app. So like I said, guys, if you're in the uh, market for a new Roku, this is definitely something that you're going to want to do is come to this uh, comparing site and check out which ones you want to buy. Say let's go for a price range. Let's check out all the ones around the same price. All right, so here you go. This one's only $1 difference. So you just go through, find out which features you definitely want. Like I said, find out which ones you don't want, and you'll be good to go. You can also do this with Fire Sticks, guys. If you come to Google, same thing. Type in Compare Fire TV Devices. Um, and this one's pretty much the same, except for it doesn't have the picture of the actual device. Now, if you're having trouble finding out what fire device you need or that you already have, um, you can download an app. It's called Informer on your Fire Stick. 
It's made by the people that made Downloader. So it's a really good app, top notch. It works every time. And you can uh, download that and click on it, and it's going to show you exactly what device you own yourself. So that's good for comparing. Say you're trying to see if it's worth buying a new one or not. And it's the same thing. You just click on whichever one, come down, compare. So we're comparing the Cube and the Fire TV. It's got all these different uh, features that you go through. Now, the Fire Stick has some other features that the Roku ones don't on the comparison table. they got the audio codecs, video codecs. It's got a bunch of other ones. Just go through, check it out for yourself. Uh, comment down below. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll be sure to get back to you. But I hope this video helped you out. Um, if you're in the market for a new Roku or Fire Stick, um, it, it's real easy. Just follow the steps and you should be fine. Also, make sure to check out the links in the description. Um, there might be some of these for better prices in my links, depending on when you're watching this video. You never know. You could get a better deal on the actual Roku site. You could get a better deal through my affiliate links. So just shop around, see what's the cheapest price, and buy it, right? So I think that about does it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.